Hi guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make a door swing open and close in Anime Studio. And we'll start off by renaming our first layer as Wall. And I'm going to turn on the grid in Anime Studio by hitting Command G. This is just going to make it easier to draw um, straight lines. So we'll draw Shape Tool and I'm just going to select a brown color for the fill, hold shift down and change the uh, stroke color. I'll start at the corner. Oops. Let's use a rectangle and draw a wall. Then I'm going to hit A, which is add points. And I'm just going to click here. And you can, if you left click and drag, you can move the points around, but we're going to keep it at the uh, ground level. Put one there. Click and drag again, straight up another one and just make a door shape. And now we have our wall and then we'll go ahead and create a second layer, vector layer. We'll call this door and I'm going to change the fill color to gray and hold shift down, make a dark gray stroke. And, oops, undo that. Select draw shape tool draw a door and maybe some detail so we can see it swing open better and like that and then I'm going to turn the grid off by hitting command G again and selecting the oval tool and I just do that so it's easier to position holding shift down it'll keep it a uh, circle and then I'll just hit T to kind of position it and then what we need to do is change the point of origin. It's this uh, pink arrow right here. This is going to tell the uh, image where to rotate. So we need to click on this button right here, set origin. And we're just going to put it on the hinge of where the door should be. Or on the hinge of the door. And that's pretty much it for the setup. Now we'll just go to frame one. And I'm going to select this tool right here. It's called the Rotate Layer XY. And I'm just going to click in the Y rotation and just change just a little bit. Right now it's set to 0 0.10. That just creates a keyframe down here on frame 1. And then I'll go to frame 12 and click in the Y rotation again. And I'm using my mouse wheel to scroll. And that'll open it up. I'll swing it all the way open. And I'll copy and paste that frame to about frame 30. That's just going to keep it open for a little while. And I'll go down the timeline again, click in the Y rotation, close it. And we can go past the original point so it swings back into the room. And change the timeline, swing it back. And then finally, Go down the timeline and then sw swing it back to its original closed position. And there you go. Really simple, um, easy way to make a door swing open and close. Um, now you can add more to it uh, with 3D effects and things like that, but I'm not sure. I, I was trying to make this so you could do this in um, Anime Studio Debut. Uh, if you have any problems or any questions, just leave a message or a comment, and I'll get back to you. Thanks.